How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Abyss. I'm at Sagala. Got a nice sized black metal collection update for you, so stick around. Let's see what we got. Alright, so basically what I got for you today, I did the Morbid Records kind of um, pre Black Friday sale, I guess, just trying to clear out some stock. They did a 5 for 20 sale. Um, and there was a little flub with the order, like on the back end, and it got a little delayed. So he was cool enough to reach out, you know, apologize, got the order straightened out, and he sent me a couple promos as well. So very cool for Morbid Records. But yeah, let's dive into this thing. The first CD I picked up, this is Russian black metal band Old Wayne's, or right here. This is their 2008 release, Death Nord Cult. Um, if you're familiar with Old Wayne's at all, you know that they're just very old school, aggressive, black metal, again out of Russia, awesome stuff. I've never listened to this record, I do have their two previous full lengths before this one. Loved both of them, so I figured why the hell not. Hell of a deal. Got it for like four dollars at the end of the day, so yeah, very cool stuff. Go check out Old Wayne's. Um, if I find this record to be above and beyond the others, I might do a review on it later, but uh, yeah. Death Nord call it Old Wayne's, absolutely awesome Russian black metal. Alright, so this next one, I was really stoked to see this one on their sale list. And if you guys have never done their sales before, you know, obviously they have their website. But if you're, you know, if you've ordered from them before and have an account, sometimes they email you special um, sale lists where you go in, you download the list, and you know, you write down which ones you want, you email it back to them. And that's kind of how you use your coupon code. But yeah, I was really stoked to see this one. I got turned on to this band a few months ago for the Metalhead box when we got, I got a vinyl. I think it was my last vinyl box before I switched back to CD. But yeah, this is a Swedish black metal band, Avski. This is their 2008 release, Malignant. Awesome stuff. Great record. Um, I'd heard it digitally. This is going to be kind of hard to see. It's all kind of... Yeah, there you go. Um, heard it digitally. Loved it. <clears throat> And price was right. I definitely couldn't beat the price. But yeah, uh, Mass Destruction was their record before this, and I did get that one from the Metal Head Box on vinyl, like I said. But just really, just aggressive. And the cool thing about ASCII is the vocal patterns are different. You know, they're not, they're not really hammered into any certain style. Not as much, you know, satanic forward as most black metal bands. It's very anti-humanity, that kind of stuff. With tracks like Fuck Your Values, Fuck Your Beliefs. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. But yeah. Avski, don't please don't get them confused, confused with Avski, A F, not the same band. This is A V, and there is like a Doom band I think with the same name, so that's why they went and added the uh, six 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 under the uh, the logo. I believe that's why they did that, but it's that way there's no confusion. But yeah, this is killer, killer black metal out of Sweden. Uh, the band's been around since the early two thousands, and they're just fucking killing it. So yeah, go check out Avski. And their Malignant CD, maybe they still got this on sale for four bucks. Who knows? Alright, so moving along, like I said, this is the Morbid Records sale with a couple extra promos. And I also have a package from a local black metal band to show. So we're going to keep rolling through this. And I apologize if it's a little rushed, but I just want to make sure I get everything in and not waste 20 minutes of your time. And I'll kind of keep it a little short. But yeah, so let's turn our attention to Spain. Um, I believe this is pronounced Hritsk. I could be really wrong, so there you go. And if you're into, like, fantasy, stuff like that, it's like, it, Pritzk is basically the orcish word for pain. So, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of cool, you know, if you're into Lord of the Rings or maybe D&D, &D, Pathfinder, that kind of stuff, it might be up your alley. But, uh, yeah, very aggressive, visceral black metal, just brutal vocals. The guitar is, like, a little deeper, lower, and, you know, more bassy, I guess you could say, than, um, some black metal bands, there's not much behind the tray, kind of hard to make out, it's a little logo there. Um, but yeah, so if you if you like the deeper, aggressive, you know, modern style of black metal, um, definitely check out Hertzk. Um, this is their EP, Inferno, and this was released, I believe, in two, yeah, 2011, I have it written down here. Awesome stuff out of Spain, very aggressive, this nasty shit. Um, Maybe if you like bands like Cult of Azazel, maybe you'd probably dig this. Kind of flirting a little bit with some black metal, or sorry, death metal elements, but just really awesome raw stuff. Again, that's Hertzk. Maybe Hertzk, I'm not sure, but 
I'm terrible with pronunciations, but yeah, go check out Inferno. Um, I'm pretty sure he's got copies of this left if you're interested. So yeah, go check that one out. All right, so these next couple I was really excited to see on there. You know, I really wanted the Hertz, Kanyavsky, that kind of stuff. But these two are bands that I'm really into and support almost more than other any other out there. Um, the first one, if you've seen my older videos, you know I'm a big fan of Varden. And they had a Varden copy on there of their 2015 full-length Despicable Broken Hope. Um, if you're unfamiliar for whatever reason, uh, Varden is a, I would say, depressive black metal artist, uh, solo artist out of um, Italy. Um, but it doesn't sound like your typical, you know, DSBM. Um, very, very second wavy. Um, and actually his sound has evolved a lot over the years changed uh, some record to record even complete drastic changes then he might go back and then jump forward um, I wasn't a fan of their newest release um, I'm trying to think of what that was called not the archives of failure I have all those those are fantastic Let's see if I can pull it up real quick um, unholy lightless summer I, did, I wasn't a fan of that one that one was more like mellow black it was like acoustical you know keyboard or not keyboard pianos very good but just not it just wasn't black metal enough for me um for me to really like it so i didn't pick that up so instead i did get this one um very medium paced somber very raw guitars you know the just vocals are just harsh as shit um awesome stuff this is five tracks of just you know just despair basically <laughs> So yeah, please go check out Varden. Um, I've done a couple box set videos if you want to go back and check those out. Uh, their archives of failure. Um, you know, I've had goofy shit like go kill yourself pamphlets, that kind of stuff. This is that band. So yeah, go check out Varden. Uh, he is a morbid uh, artist, so they've always got good deals on his stuff. So yeah, if you want something a little different from Italy, go check out Varden. Alright, so like the Varden record, I was super stoked when I saw this band's name on the list. Um, and kind of funny it's um if you've seen some of my old videos or you know you've seen me on the streams or you know maybe we're friends on facebook or you know instagram or whatever um you'll know that i'm super heavy into the canadian black metal band megiddo so i saw megiddo didn't think twice boom didn't didn't recognize the album title ordered it when i got it i noticed the logo and everything was different and so <laughs> looked at it and this is actually megiddo from Chile, not Megiddo from um, Canada, so I had no idea there were multiple black metal bands using the name Megiddo. But anywho, this is their 2003 release, Subterranean Empire, and I was pretty impressed by this. It's very, very thick, raw, dense sounding, just gobs of atmosphere, very old school, second wave oriented style black metal, great vocals, great guitar riffs, kind of thrashy at times. But yeah, so I mean, I was, again, Megiddo, same, same, same band name, but different country, different band. Um, Circle of Hypocrisy was an awesome track off of this. And I did listen to this once. I was like, holy shit, this is not my Megiddo. But they're up there. I mean, they're pretty damn good. Um, I've said it a hundred times, and I'll keep saying it. Uh, South American, Central American black metal bands have been overlooked enough. And there are a lot of good ones. And this is one I never knew existed. It was an accidental buy. I thought this was the Megiddo from Canada. Turns out I was wrong. But yeah, I'm glad I picked it up nonetheless. It's a great album. Uh, like I said, this gobs of just blacky, thrashy guitar riff goodness and killer vocals. But yeah, again, that's 2003. The Chile Megiddo Subterranean Empire full length. Killer stuff. This is all Raw Force Productions. You know, shame on me, didn't do my research, but at the same time, I was introduced to another great black metal band from Chile, so I'm not going to complain too much. Yeah, go check out both Megiddos, please, they're both awesome bands. Alright, so now we're into the two, uh, you know, bonuses or promos that he threw in just for, you know, having some issues, like on the back end, which only delayed it by about a day or so, it was really cool of them to do. This person is kind of a do-it-yourself, home-recorded Demo tape from a, uh, a U.S. depressive United States black metal band. Um, never heard of them. Uh, Drowning Deeper. Uh, the the promo is called Suffer and Die. Um, uh, very do-it-yourself. You can see it's, it's home-recorded, handwritten. 
Um, nothing inside the J card that I'm aware of. Yeah, inside the black. And it just has, you know, the Facebook. Um, yeah. So, Drowning Deeper, Suffer and Die. Um, that's all the info in here. There's no track listings or anything. So, this is the, looks like a home recorded demo. And uh, um, the guy at Morbid must just be trying to help promote it a little bit and, you know, giving out some copies or selling them for cheap. So, I'll definitely give this a listen. Um, not a whole lot of depressive bands I'm into, you know, aside from like Varden. But I'll definitely give this a listen, and if it's not my cup of tea, maybe I'll throw, include it in a giveaway or send it to somebody who I think will appreciate it. Definitely give it a listen, though. Here's the second promo I got, and this is actually a 2018 full length from the band Waxen. Waxen is a, a black metal band out of Wyoming here in the States. Very cool stuff. Uh, they're mostly like war, you know, nuclear, nuclear war, as you can see there, and the H bomb going off and the artwork there, um, very cool stuff. He has some occult occult themes in here as well. Uh, really surprised by this record. Um, like I said, I've never heard of this band either. Uh, they are a Morbid Record release. Um, again, that's Waxan, Waxan, Waxan. Yeah, however you want to say that. It's, it says dark art for the satanic elite there inside the spine, and it was very good. Uh, very different. There's some different. I guess tones and ambient noises and stuff mixed in there. Vocals kind of hit and miss at times, but uh, not bad. Um, I might actually do a review of this because it was very different. I'd never heard of them before. But yeah, this is Waxen with a uh, Terror Decree plus bonus. So I didn't even realize there's a couple bonus tracks I didn't make it to yet. So yeah, I'll definitely be re giving that a re-listen. So yeah, uh, that pretty much blows through the stuff for Morbin Records. Um, now I said I also had a few things from a local black metal band, and that is Burial Oath. Uh, they are a phenomenal local band here in Ohio. Um, just kind of stumbled upon them recently. Um, you know, just kind of surfing through shows, things like that, going to different venues, you know, digging around on Facebook, band camp, and luckily came across these guys. Um, fairly love, very good stuff. I believe this album came out last year. It's called Beyond the Veil, Beyond the Veil of the Shadowlands. That cool burial oath logo, very atmospheric looking um, album cover there. And there's the title. Flip it over, nice big bold print. Uh, Coffin Nails, probably my favorite track, killer fucking track. Got like a cemetery in the woods. This is off Vendetta Records. Um, as far as I know, uh, they don't have too many releases. I know they have some digital stuff, demos, that kind of thing, but um, I'll have to double check. I'm not sure if they have any other full links out. If they do, I'm definitely going to be picking them up. Uh, here's the insert for the vinyl. It's got some cool artwork there. Very cool stuff. And on the other side, there's the Burial Oath logo, album title again, and then you got little band photos there of each member. Cool stuff. Again, this is just black vinyl which you know a lot of people don't like getting black vinyl but hell with it you know I, uh, sounds just as good um, it's just not as flashy to show on camera but um, tell you what well worth the money uh, was very picked this up pretty cheap um, band got it to me super quick and I decided I enjoyed the album so much I picked up a few merch items first being a beer koozie with the uh, burial oath logo on both sides I can finally give my <laughs> Metalhead Box Dark Throne one a break. It's getting kind of ratty looking. And I also picked up a patch of the band as well. Burial of um, starting a new vest that's going to be strictly black metal. Um, so this is definitely going to be going on there. Um, killer stuff. Again, that's <clears throat> Beyond beyond the Veil of Shadowlands by Burial Oath. I will link up them in the description. Please go check them out if you're into them. You know consider supporting them because they're one of those fast up-and-coming bands and in my opinion in USBM um, they don't really constrict themselves to one style they write, remind me a bit of a band like Take um, to where that some of their songs they just have different s structures I mean some sometimes it sounds very punky sometimes they sound atmospheric sometimes they're black and roll some I mean they just mix all this stuff together and it just fucking works perfectly so yeah Go check out Burial Oath. Check out the guys I got for Morbin Records. 
I will link all the bands up in the description below if I can find info, like bands like the Drowning Deeper. Not sure what I'll be able to find, but I will link up what I can. I do have my giveaway video coming up here in the next couple days, so keep a lookout for that. And a couple game videos coming and uh, another nerd episode coming for you as well. So, Tails and Horns, everybody. We'll see you soon.